students let us discuss a question asked in gate 2018 in the afternoon session of civil engineering so the question is from environmental engineering and the question says a flocculation tank contains 1800 meter cubes of water which is mixed using paddles at an average velocity gradient of 100 second inverse that means he's saying is giving us the volume volume it is equal to 1800 meter cubes then he is saying the velocity gradient of 100 second inverse that means g value capital g temporal mean velocity gradient he is giving us as 100 second inverse then he says the water temperature and dynamic viscosity are 30 degrees celsius and 0.798 into 10 to the power minus 3 newton seconds per meter square that means temperature is 30 degree c and dynamic viscosity of water is saying as 0 0.798 into 10 to the power minus 3 newton seconds per meter square and he is asking the theoretical power required in kilowatts so he is asking the power requirement power in kilowatts how many kilowatts of power is required according to this value of g so it's a direct question direct application of formula so for a flocculation tank we know that g it is equal to under root of p divided by mu into v where g is the temporal mean velocity gradient p is the power mu is the dynamic viscosity of water and v is the volume so we have all the data so we have to calculate power so from this expression power is equals to g square into mu into v which is equal to g square that means 100 square into mu is given to us as 0.798 into the power minus 3 into volume is 1800 meter cubes so from here we will get 1436 4 watts. The power will be 14364 watts. And since he is asking in kilowatts, that means 14.36 kilowatts. So the answer in kilowatts is 14.36. This is a memory based question. So if you have any kind of doubt in question or in the solution, kindly contact us on the number which is written on the board. Thank you.